Have you ever wondered about the untold stories of Jesus? What he did during his time on earth that isn't widely known or discussed? In the vast tapestry of human history, few figures have left as indelible a mark as Jesus of Nazareth. His life, teachings and actions have shaped cultures, inspired countless individuals and continue to influence our world today. We've all heard the well-known stories, turning water into wine, feeding the 5,000, walking on water. But what about the lesser-known actions of Jesus? The ones that aren't always in the spotlight but still hold profound lessons for us. Let's dive into the pages of history and biblical accounts and uncover these hidden gems. We'll explore the actions of Jesus that may not make the headlines, yet they are instrumental in understanding the depth of his character, his mission, and his love for humanity. Take, for instance, the time when Jesus healed a man with leprosy, a disease considered highly contagious and fearsome during his time. This act, while not as famous as some of his other miracles, showed his compassion for the marginalized and the outcast. Or consider the instance when Jesus, in the midst of a storm, calmed the raging sea. While this story is known, it's often overlooked how this act demonstrated his mastery over nature and his profound understanding of the fear and awe that natural phenomena can inspire. And let's not forget about the time Jesus forgave an adulterous woman, challenging societal norms and displaying a radical sense of mercy and forgiveness. These stories, and many more like them, paint a fuller picture of who Jesus was, not just a miracle worker, but a compassionate healer, a master over nature, a challenger of societal norms, and a beacon of mercy and forgiveness. So as we venture into this journey together, let's keep an open mind and heart. Let's allow these lesser known actions of Jesus to deepen our understanding of his life and his message. As we delve deeper, we'll uncover some surprising revelations about the life of Jesus that you may not be familiar with. Did you know that Jesus was an exorcist as well as a healer? Yes, you heard it right. The man from Nazareth, revered for his teachings and healing powers, also had authority over evil spirits. Let's delve into one such account from the Gospel of Mark, chapter 5, verses 1 to 20. Here we encounter a man from the region of the Gerasenes, who was possessed by a legion of demons. This man lived among the tombs, and no chain could bind him due to his supernatural strength. Then comes Jesus crossing the sea and stepping onto the shore right into this man's path. The man, possessed by the demons, immediately falls at Jesus' feet. The demons, recognizing Jesus' divine authority, beg him not to torment them. Jesus, in his infinite compassion and power, commands the demons to leave the man. They enter a herd of pigs, which then rush into the sea and drown. This story might sound terrifying, but it is a potent testament to Jesus' authority over evil spirits. It's not just about the physical healing that Jesus performed. It was about the spiritual liberation, the release from the shackles of these tormenting spirits. This man, once ostracized and feared, was restored to his community, a living testament to Jesus' power and mercy. Another instance is in Luke chapter 4, verses 33 to 36. Jesus was teaching in a synagogue when a man possessed by a demon cried out. The demon recognized Jesus as the Holy One of God and asked if he had come to destroy them. Jesus rebuked the demon, commanding it to come out of the man, and it did so without causing the man any harm. The people were amazed at his authority and power that even demons obeyed his commands. These exorcisms reveal a side of Jesus that we rarely consider, but they are crucial in understanding his divine authority. It wasn't just about casting out demons. It was about setting people free from spiritual bondage and demonstrating the kingdom of God's power over evil. These stories remind us that no force of darkness can stand against the light of Christ. Jesus wasn't just a spiritual leader, he was also a social reformer. A title that may seem unusual to some, but when we delve into the pages of the New Testament, we see a figure who consistently defied societal norms and expectations. Consider the society of the first century Middle East. It was one of hierarchy, where people were often set apart based on their status, their health, and their perceived moral character. In this context, Jesus' actions were revolutionary. He didn't just speak to the marginalized, he sought them out. He didn't just tolerate them, he loved them. Let's look at some instances. There was the time he touched a leper, a man considered unclean and healed him, 
defying the societal norms of his time. And Jesus didn't stop there, he ate with tax collectors, individuals despised by society for their perceived corruption. He spoke to a Samaritan woman, breaking not just one, but two societal taboos, speaking to a woman in public and engaging with a Samaritan, a group despised by Jews at the time. But perhaps one of the most striking examples was when Jesus stood up for a woman caught in adultery. At a time when she was expected to be stoned, Jesus challenged those ready to condemn her, saying, He who is without sin among you, let him be the first to throw a stone at her. In doing so, he highlighted the hypocrisy of the self-righteous and emphasized compassion over judgment. Through these actions, Jesus was not just challenging societal norms, he was setting a new standard, a standard based on love, compassion, and equality. He taught us that every person, regardless of their status, their past, or their circumstances, is worthy of love and respect. And so, Jesus, the social reformer, leaves us with a powerful legacy. He invites us to look beyond societal labels and see the inherent dignity in every individual. He challenges us to question unjust norms and work towards a society grounded in compassion and equality. Through his actions, Jesus taught us the importance of compassion, equality, and social justice. Jesus, the master storyteller, used parables to convey profound truths. Jesus' storytelling was a cornerstone of his teaching, using simple, everyday scenarios to illustrate complex spiritual concepts. His parables were not just stories, they were metaphors laden with wisdom and moral lessons. Let's delve into one of his lesser-known parables, the parable of the unforgiving servant from the book of Matthew, chapter 18, verses 21 to 35. In this parable, a king forgives his servant's enormous debt, only for the servant to harshly demand repayment of a small debt from a fellow servant. When the king learns of this, he is dismayed and punishes the unforgiving servant. The message? Jesus was teaching about divine forgiveness and our responsibility to forgive others. The king represents God, who forgives our immense spiritual debt, and we are the servants, expected to extend that same grace to others. It's a potent lesson in compassion, mercy, and the golden rule. Do unto others as you would have them do unto you. But why did Jesus use parables? He could have chosen to deliver his teachings in a straightforward manner. But parables, with their familiar settings and relatable characters, allowed his audience to engage with his teachings on a personal level. They required listeners to think, to ponder, and to discover the truth for themselves. In essence, Jesus was not just imparting wisdom, he was teaching his followers how to think, how to question, and how to seek truth. And it's not just the parable of the unforgiving servant, there are numerous other parables, each a treasure trove of wisdom and spiritual insight. They speak to us across the centuries, their messages as relevant today as they were 2,000 years ago. These parables, steeped in wisdom and spirituality, offer us a deeper understanding of Jesus' teachings and his divine insight. So next time you read a parable, pause for a moment, dig a little deeper, look a little closer. There's a wealth of wisdom waiting to be discovered. Each seemingly small action of Jesus had a profound impact, shaping the course of history and humanity. As we delve into the hidden impacts of Jesus' actions, we find a ripple effect that has touched countless lives over the course of centuries. Take, for instance, Jesus' encounter with the woman caught in adultery. A less celebrated account, perhaps, but one that carries a powerful message of forgiveness. In a society quick to judge and condemn, Jesus chose to extend grace. His response, he who is without sin, let him cast the first stone, was not just a defense of this woman, but a call to self-reflection for all of humanity. His action reverberates through time, challenging us to replace judgment with understanding and hate with love. Then consider Jesus' act of washing his disciples' feet, the King of Kings, the creator of the universe, stooping low to perform a servant's task. This was not a display of weakness, but an embodiment of humility and service. Through this action, Jesus dismantled the societal norms, redefining greatness as servitude. This powerful message of humility continues to shape our understanding of leadership and service today. And let's not forget Jesus' interaction with Zacchaeus, the tax collector. In a time when tax collectors were despised and ostracized, Jesus chose to dine with Zacchaeus. He saw beyond the man's profession and reputation, recognizing his intrinsic worth. This action of Jesus sent out a clear message no one is beyond redemption. 
It's a message that continues to instill hope and inspire change in countless lives today. These actions, though not as well known as his miracles, were equally impactful. They were not grand gestures, but simple acts of love, forgiveness and humility. They were the embodiment of his teachings, a living testament to his character and mission. So as we reflect on these lesser known actions of Jesus, we realize their far reaching implications. They serve as a reminder that even the smallest actions can have a profound impact. These actions, though less celebrated, are equally significant in understanding the life of Jesus and the transformative power of his teachings.